Hello gamers, I'm Ank, and in today's video I want to talk about Evercore Heroes, a game that brings the idea of competitive PV to another level. I don't know about you, but I personally love exploring new ideas. It's one of the reasons why I try out so many new games. Often enough, these new games bring improvements on trial and tested ideas, and sometimes entirely new concepts. I would say that Evercore Heroes is an entirely new concept despite it having many familiar things, and we will talk about this in a second. Before we begin, I always like to take a moment and thank the returning subscribers for being here. Thank you very much. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope you enjoy your stay. If you want to see more of my content, consider subscribing. Alright, let's get back to the topic. So what is Evercore Heroes? To put it simply, it's kind of a competitive PvE MOBA. And the definition might have confused some of you, or even turned some people off. But please let me explain what this means. Four teams of up to four players compete in real time to see which of them can complete a dungeon faster. Currently there are three dungeons and they have different stages and randomized objectives. The first time I heard that, I immediately had some concerns and they had to do with the game getting stale. But the competitive element of the game and the randomized objectives keep it from being stale. Another element that is worth mentioning is that the game is currently in development, being in closed beta. So all its elements will see improvement in quantity, quality and variety. So more heroes, dungeons and, most likely, even more variety when it comes to objectives. And yes, you have heard me correctly, I did mention heroes. Well, it's in the name after all. You will be competing in this dungeon experience using one of these heroes. There are currently 17 heroes, which is pretty amazing for a game in close beta. Not only that, but having multiple heroes to explore will be another element that will keep the game feeling fresh. Since heroes are fairly unique, and there are a multitude of ways to play them based on your preference and of course team composition. After all this is a team based game, so working with your allies is the best way to achieve victory. I would like to talk a little bit about gameplay, but I'm not going into too much detail to not spoil the experience for those that want to have that first time experience. What you really need to know before going into the game is that you can play with up to 4 other people, select a hero loosely on the Trinity format of tank, damage dealer and support. I say loosely because you can often have a role that can perform outside of its designation. For example, a support acting as a tank or focusing on damage if multiple supports are present. So, you can use these heroes, together with your teammates, to progress through dungeons and complete objectives. The gameplay itself is very similar to League, Dota, Diablo, most top-down views that employ click-to-move. I know this is not ideal, but it seems that the developers will be implementing other accessibility options in the future, hopefully WSD movement and controller support. The beautiful part of this system is that it can be both a casual game, where you queue up alone, or make a permanent team and theory craft and create your own strategies, so it does offer that level of depth for those interested. So what will this cost? Well, the game will be free to play at release, but for now it's in closed beta and access is only for supporters and their friends, so you'll have to pay if you want to play it right now or have a friend that is a supporter and can invite you. There are free founder pack options for those interested and they all will provide access to the closed beta. I don't want to make this video unnecessarily long, so I will go over the contents of the founder packs quickly. The packs are priced at $19.99, $49.99 and $79.99. The one thing that will stand out in these packs is that they come with friend invites. The first and second pack have one friend invite and the third pack has three. Another thing that all these packs come with is the Founders Battle Pass, which I'm sure most people already know what it entails, since it's a standard practice in the gaming industry. They also contain some in-game items. The first pack comes with two heroes, the second pack comes with three heroes, one skin, one icon, as well as $10 worth of cash shop currency, 
while the third pack comes with 4 heroes, 2 skins, 2 icons, 1 emote for one of those heroes and $15 worth of currency. For those interested, the second and third pack also come with a Discord title and a mention on the wall of heroes, which are some sort of credits. You should keep in mind that all the heroes can be obtained with either in-game currency or cash shop currency, just like in other MOBAs. So these packs provide no real advantage over another player. With all this in mind, personally I think these packs are not bad and I really like the friend invites they added in. These invites make every pack a viable option depending on your preference and of course financial situation. That being said, if you want to play the game right now, the smart option is to get a smaller pack and play the game for a while to see if you and your friends enjoy it and afterwards upgrade to a bigger pack. Of course, if you don't care about fashion and are patient enough, you can always wait until the game releases since it's going to be free to play and of course at release it will be in a much more polished state and with more content. In conclusion, I think it is a very interesting concept and I welcome it. The competitive dungeon element always exists, but you very rarely get to see it in a real-time competitive environment, and this game provides just that. Coupled with the MOBA elements, this game offers a pretty unique and replayable experience. I am more of a PvP player myself, but I have been enjoying a lot of PvE content lately, so I have to say that I do look forward to seeing more from Evercore Heroes and I do look forward to playing some more after I'm done with this video. So what do you think of Evercore Heroes? If you made it to the end of the video, thanks for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe. See you in the next one gamers!